the odd rule. In a previous video, we saw how to determine the distance that an object falls after a certain number of frames. Using a table such as this one is helpful for positioning the first key after the apex. You can also calculate the distance fallen for the other keys, but measuring the position for every drawing is a boring and tedious way to animate. Now it's good to know how quickly objects fall, but animators rarely calculate the exact motion. Instead, animators look for the rhythm of how the motion slows into and out of extremes. The odd rule tells you the rhythm for simple falling motion. I call it the odd rule because it uses the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. The odd rule says that the spacing between keys increases in the ratios 1 to 3 to 5 to 7, etc. starting from the apex drawing which is key number one. Note that the odd rule is mathematically exact for constant acceleration. Rolling downhill is also accelerating motion that follows the odd rule. The motion is similar to falling, except the timing is slower and it depends on the slope of the incline. But the spacings always go as 1 to 3 to 5 to 7, etc. To demonstrate the odd rule, let's roll a wheel down a notched incline ramp and listen for the clicks. The notches on the left ramp are spaced by the odd rule. The other ramp has evenly spaced notches. Watch and listen. When rolling down the ramp with evenly spaced notches, the time between clicks gets shorter and shorter. It sounds something like this. Click, 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 click. For the ramp with notches spaced as one to three to five to seven, etc., we hear click, 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 click. This demonstration was first done by Galileo when he was studying falling motion. And in fact, it was Galileo who discovered the odd rule. In straight ahead action, you can use the odd rule's rhythm to find each of the spacings after the first one. With practice, this rhythm for the spacings will come naturally. To use the odd rule, you, to use the odd rule, you start by estimating the first spacing from the apex. These photos illustrate this distance for falling motion when shooting on ones, twos, or threes. Here's an example for a ball drop. Shooting on twos, the first spacing after the apex is about the width of two fingers. By the odd rule, the spacing between keys number two and number three is three times this distance. Then the rest of the spacings follow the odd rule rhythm. One of the beauties of the odd rule is that you can use it when animating on ones or on twos or on threes or for any other choice. In these two illustrations, we have a falling baseball shot on twos and a falling bowling ball shot on threes. The odd rule applies as long as the number of frames between each key drawing stays the same. If you want to mix shooting on ones and on twos, then start with the odd rule on twos and then add some in-betweens. Here's another way of thinking about the odd rule. The numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, etc have the pattern that by adding two, you get the next number in the sequence. In other words, after the first spacing, all the other spacings are longer by the same increment, that is, the same amount. Spacings when decelerating by friction also follow the odd rule, slowing into the final key, that is, coming to a stop. Many, but not all cases of slowing in or slowing out follow the odd rule. The odd rule can also be used in perspective, giving an object's size as it moves away from the viewer. Finally, light objects such as a beach ball initially slow out by the odd rule.
However, due to air resistance, the motion transitions to nearly uniform motion after a certain distance. Note that this transition occurs quickly, but it's simplified in this illustration. We'll look at this type of motion more carefully in some of the other videos. In uh, summary, slowing out from the apex, the spacings of falling motion follow the odd rule. The odd rule is that the spacings have the ratio 1 to 3 to 5 to 7, etc. Other cases of slowing out, such as rolling downhill, also follow the odd rule. Some cases of slowing in, such as sliding to a stop by friction, follow the odd rule as well. Now, the odd rule is particularly useful for animating in the style of straight ahead, ac straight ahead action, but there's another style called pose to pose action, which is more common in computer animation. In the next video tutorial, we'll look at another rule called fourth down at halftime that's useful for pose to pose action. See you then.